Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of events, updates, and beautiful things happening within the Blender community, Blender Foundation, and also Blender as an app. And this week we have more like a compressed short version of the weekly update that you guys would definitely want to take a look at. First off, we have something very interesting coming from the folks at Blender Foundation that deals with the grease pencil. And yep, last week we talked about the grease pencil. We said that the folks at Blender Foundation are looking at ways that you can now work with the grease pencil and actually export things out. And to see this in action, it's very, very interesting. That feature is now here because if you go over to your grease pencil and let's say you do some very cool artwork right now, this is our artwork, I mean, in all honesty so if this is your artwork and you want to export these as both pdf or as svg it is a possibility all you need to do is switch over to your object mode select the artwork or select whatever drawing you've done go over to file and now you can export these things as both svgs or as pdfs now this makes sense because by default you can actually import your svg files as grease pencil files and also you can import svgs by default and convert these things to grease pencil now with this said there's also a very cool update that is here as well that compensates for different bevel depths and this is specifically for those working with curves and uh, once you're joining your curves you can now use these things to do some pretty cool things and it's very interesting to see that this as well is a community requested feature which you can find more details about when you go over to the right click section and uh, you can see these things i'm going to put a link in the description where you can check this one out now while we're talking about this you would also be able to note that last week we talked about the fact that the folks at blender foundation said they've added a support for the mute nodes and this is something i've not really found a way to go around as i've always tried it and it didn't get to work probably it's within a certain build which i have not been able to lay my hands on but once i do you guys would be the first to know so this feature seems to be here for those who are you know opportunity to test this one out you can actually use the control and alt key on your keyboard to mute the node and use control to cut the node while working with either your shader compositor or the geometry node now while we speak about the geometry node there's a very cool uh, thing which i like to share with you guys that deals with the geometry node right here so the folks at Blender Foundation are looking at a pretty cool prototype. It's more like something that is existing, sort of, I don't really know, but this is how it works, all right? So I'm gonna put a link where you can get the default Pebble scattering portal stuff and also where you can get this asset tool demo file. Now, what is this? This is something that will change a lot of things, okay? So what you can do is you can now append, or should I use the word reference, a geometry node into a different file. So let's say you did some pretty amazing stuff, or maybe you downloaded a pretty amazing geometry node node. You can now append these things to your geometry node. And a very good example that we have here is something that they're using to actually beautify and the scene from the sprite file. So at this point, there is a brand new window that would now exist within where you find your plugins once you press n on your keyboard and it is now known as your asset tool and within the asset tool section you'll be able to have access to things that you've tied over to your geometry node now you might be wondering how do you tie these things to your geometry node and how do these things actually work of course i've not been able to test this one out but it is a very cool feature and i guess this will be very dominant in uh, the coming updates or the coming experimental branches that will be seen but right now it is still tagged as a prototype tool so for those who want to you know test this one out you can also notice that it says to do so for those who want to test this one out i'm gonna put a link in the description where you can check it out meanwhile by default what actually happens is let's say we go over to a brand new stuff like here and drag this one all the way up and switch from here to geometry node and click on new what happens is if you actually you know let's say you do something let me throw in a subdivision all right so let's say we throw in a subdivision if you would like to gain access to these things within your modifier section and not within here you can actually wire these things back here all right so once you wire that here and let's say you wire this one right over here you'd notice you have access to this within your modifier section so you can now play with it so i guess what you're doing is whatever properties or stuff that you've made you can now export these things or you know you can now easily append them because at this point there is nothing here right so what you can do is go over to file use the append then you can append it and you should be able to find 
those relative nodes around here and that is one of those cool updates and uh, i really really like it now while we talk about the cool updates that we have here with the geometry node it is also worth saying that for those who would like to get some free stuff you want to get some you know nodes and you want to get some expanded tool sets that works with the geometry node there's a very cool artist known as a rindle and he has actually made these things available on his gum road so you want to get some shaders you want to get some node stuff you want to get you know some assets you will be able to find all of these things right here you can see that all of his november pack they are all for free so you can go in get them out and you know start using them these are all free these are all free 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 and yes he does have a toolkit which is tied for or you know that is made for the geometry node all right so the toolkit is here for the geometry node so just in case you want to expand on your geometry node usage you might want to take a look at that if you want to also expand on the assets that you have you want to get some cool kitchen assets you can also take a look at these ones i'm going to put a link in the description where you can check these things out so these are some of the cool things that we have for the geometry node meanwhile ev is also getting a pretty cool update so last week we talked about ev we said EV was getting volumetric updates. It's good to see that right now there's even way more volumetric updates that you can now get with EV. So, first off, EV now supports a special attenuation volume for light. At the same time, there is also support for light clamp and also a brand new support for aerial light shapes. So, in case you're working with volumetrics for EV, this is super cool and uh, the spreadsheet also got a couple of updates we did talk about this one last week where we said you can now see your final results and you can see your initial results as well for those who would also want to do some compositing stuff there's also updates to the compositor as there's a redesign for the crypto mat node for better usability and also the crypto mat now shows the name of the object materials directly on the, the cursor and uh, this is definitely going to help compositors and help people who would like to do some tweaking on their final renders get the most out of it now these are some of the updates that are available for this week and uh, there's still a couple more stuff that you might want to know one of the things that you might want to know is last week we talked about the fact that pablo de barro is working on getting you know the face set extrude and the face set extrude actually works like this that once you have certain parts you know selected as face sets you can now extrude these things and you can use this to create some pretty cool design so for those who want to test this thing out currently it's not in the final build all right so for those who want to test this thing out you can simply go over to the experimental experimental branches section and to get that you need to go over to your blender.org website Go over to downloads and within download scroll all the way down go over to download blender experimental and click on experimental branches now once you click on experimental branches you need to scroll all the way down to scope develop branch and right there is where you would see it and at this point you can now test out all of these cool things meanwhile if you want to see if it exists here it doesn't all right so if you actually have an object and you go over to your scope mode or you go over to your scope room and you choose to do something like this so let's say we choose to you know add some face set right there and you select the face set tool if you click you would notice that we have the grow face set shrink delete you know the fairing tangency and also the position but there is no extrude so that feature is not within the main build right now you would only find it within the experimental branch there is also something that the folks at blender foundation are doing but before we talk about that for those who would want to update their pure sky or maybe you're looking for a sky add-on there is a pure sky add-on that you can now get that is right here so this is available for blender 2.8 all the way to 2.93 and they've just gone through to update their stuff to 4.1 and the 4.1 does come with a couple of cool updates and for those who want to see more about it you want to read more about it i'm going to put a link in the description that'll take you right over here where you can see these things for yourself now if you want to test this before you purchase it you can get it for a dollar but then once you're done you want to get the pro version you can actually check it out right here now with these things here something else you might want to check out is the jobs so the folks at blender foundation are actually looking for two persons all right a generalist and also a rendering software engineer now more specifically the generalist is going to join the sprite pride project and you know help make the project come to life and in the same vein the rendering software engineer is would help improve and also maintain cycles path tracing renderer so if you're interested in these two jobs you might want to go over to this link in the description 
and check these things out. And that's more like it. Huge shout out to the folks at Blender Foundation for making this one possible and also for Erindol for making this possible and also the folks at 3 Division for making all these things right here. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace